Friends, Coach Tom, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is where you are. I don't know, it's uh, midday here, just about noon. It is absolutely gorgeous. So lucky to be out here. Today we're touching on something that's super, super big to me. It's this idea of read and react. It's kind of how I teach tennis in general. So what do I mean by this? What is the read and react model? In a nutshell, <laughs> in a nutshell uh, very simply, very basically, it is the idea that you need to read, be aware of, see, take in, but read what's going on in the court, and then you need to react according to that. For example, if somebody's standing this close to the net and is about to blast an overhead, well, that's gonna be a, you're gonna have to have a very different reaction to that than if I'm standing back down here, bent down, ball at my shoes. So when I say react, it's not just standing there hoping for the best and then physically reacting to the ball. It's actually reacting before your opponent hits their shot. And that's a huge piece of this, right? The idea of being able to know what's coming before your opponent actually hits it, how great is that? As we've talked about in previous weeks, if I hit a weak approach shot and I'm coming to the net, well, I need to be here kind of hunkered down low as opposed to if I hit a really good approach shot, I can be much tighter in with my racket up nice and high, ready to finish. And we can go back to where this all started, you guys, back here on the baseline, right? The idea of, boom, I hit a nice, good, deep ball that, that I think and hope is gonna push my opponent back off the court and give me a short ball. I am reading that. I am reading that ball coming off my racket going, boom, oh, that was pretty good creeping in in anticipation of a short ball, in anticipation of me hitting an approach shot, in anticipation of me moving to the net and hitting a volley. I have to think this way every single shot. So this is the same point from Wednesday. I want you to see how as soon as I hit this ball right away, boom, I felt that it was pretty good coming off my racket and I started moving in. Then I look up and see that Andrew is in fact backwards, so I move in even a little bit more. This is all that idea. I'm reading what's going on off of my racket, off of his racket based on his positioning and moving in accordingly. So again, good shot, he's back, I move in and I attack. So we're gonna get to this in, in much greater detail later on, but for this series, for the idea of volleys, the biggest thing is read your opponent's body position, their balance, their weight, are they forwards, backwards, what are they doing? and read where they are on the court. If your opponent is inside the baseline moving forwards with good balance and good position, they're gonna hit a good shot and you need to know that. You need to play defense. If your opponent is backed up behind the baseline, scrambling, hitting a backhand from over their shoulders, you can kind of move in a little bit and say, hey, I've got an opportunity to play an offensive shot here. So we'll keep it simple. When you're out there on the court, just start thinking about hey, what, what's going on on the other side of the net? What did I do? What did my shot do to affect my opponent or not affect my opponent? That's it for today. It is Friday. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Remember, keep it fun, keep it simple, and I will see you guys on Sunday.